Okay, time for another Making Words activity. So remember, if you joined us last time for Making Words, you have these letters to use. You can write your letters down at the top of your page and just use them to look at as you list. You can also cut them off and cut them apart so that you can manipulate them and reuse them. So remember, once you create one word, you start with all of the letters again and you just make as many letters or many words as you can out of the letters that are provided. If you are so lucky um, or wise maybe, um, you will be able to find one mystery word or magic word using all of the letters that are listed there. There's one word that it makes. Maybe it makes more than one, but I have one word in my mind that it makes if you use all of the letters. So you will get five minutes to make as many words as possible. Um, some advice that I always tell people is to start with two letter words, see what you can make. After you can make two letter words, then go on to three letter words, four letter words, and also consider your letter patterns. So any spe spelling patterns that you are familiar with or vowel patterns, such as E-A in today's, or maybe A-U, or maybe using an E at the end as a silent E. So just think through lots of possibilities um, and you will be able to come up with many. So I'm gonna set the timer, maybe. I don't know where the timer is. Um, I will. I will set, thank you, I will set the timer uh, for five minutes, and if you were with us earlier, I set it for three hours instead of three minutes, mm -hmm. so it didn't work too well for us. I'm going to make sure I set it for and it was, five minutes. And it was still long, and it had one hour. Yes, exactly. So, we're going to do five minutes, brainstorm and write down as many words as you can out of these letters, L E M. B U A R L. On your marks, get set, go. get stuck think about using one individual vowel so this e would be like a short e think about words you can make with f f f sound as maybe a middle sound or maybe the a a a sound as the the middle sound and then trying to put consonants around it because every word has a vowel okay so think about forming words using the vowels or any vowel sounds like E-A together. Just try your best. Just try your best.
think. And think if there's anything that you can do with a silent E at the end. Is there an E with some words before it that maybe you could do? What's the mystery word? Start I'm with. not going to tell you. Don't worry about the mystery word. Worry about the small words. The mystery word might come to you later. Less than a minute left. Oh my See what you can come up with. Don't give up. Thirty seconds. Okay. Can I share one? Okay, just a second. Can I, share one? I am going to want you guys to take your papers and go down to the floor. I was questioning too. Oh, whether they were words or not? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I one that was Okay. Push it in. Push it in. Oh, you're going to write on it? Okay. As long as it's not in the way of the, the board. Okay. Got... Let's start. Oh, I'm not going to use pink because that won't show up as well. Let's start with two words. Uh, I got me and B. Okay, me and B. B. So M E thought, and B E, me. And I just thought of another one. Okay. Re. Well, re, R E is a prefix. It's not a word by itself, but you can redo something or rewrite something, right? But we put it in front of a word. So it's not a word on its own. Okay. Okay? What others? I, uh, any, any, three, what? Three words. What about am? Oh yeah, I had am. You did have am? Yeah. Okay, is that all? Looks like it. Okay, maybe three. there's more, but. Oh, yeah. Okay, so how about three words? Uh, I got... Hang on, we can't both go at the same uh, time. Why don't we let Ava go first? R. R. A. R. E. Oh, I just found... Uh, oh, you found another one? I, I found another one. I did Okay, what was it? Bayo. Look, Bayo feet. Okay, one actually, and that's four words. Let's go. We can put it down while we're here. So bare feet is spelled like this, which also means we could spell like bear, bear like, like teddy bear, teddy bear or yeah, bear, in bear in the woods. Yeah. Okay. Let's go back to three words. Uh, rub. Rub. R U B. And then bar. And then bar. Okay. So lift yourself up on the bar or a candy bar, okay? Uh, Reese, what are your three letters? Ear. Ear. Whoops. Sorry. And I was questioning on mar. Okay, E A R. Mar. Mar. Mm, that's an it could be used as an abbreviation. Um, Mars yeah. is like you know, but we don't have the S. So we can't really use mar, but we might be able to start a word with mar. Are there any words that we could start with m-a-r? Uh, I, I was thinking, what did you say? Marble. 
Marble. And I wondered if anybody would come up with that because that's a pretty tricky one. Marble. Is it that? Okay, so it's a six-letter word. M-A-R-B-L-E. That's not the magic word. Not the mystery word. Yeah, because that's used to us. Uh, right. Okay, any other? How about four words? Four letter um, words. Meal. Meal, like I ate a meal. Okay, so M E A L. Um, and blue. Blue, good, the color. B L U E, blue. Good job, sis. Um, okay. You guys have come up with some good ones that I think we can find, we can use as clues for others. Do you have any more? Yes. So let's let's do this. Let's think about if we can start with meal and change the M. To what? I don't know. Use another letter. If we use E a L. What can we put in front of that besides the M? Well, Beal. Be well, Beal real. could be a real. real. And Beal, um, there is like Beal Street or Beal, but um, for this purpose, we're not. And it's spelled a little different as well. But okay, real is a word that most students would know. Okay. Is um, a word? How about if? How about if we take? Um, oh, I was gonna. We can use some of these. So, for instance, like um, if we use the U and the L and the E, I was also thinking about the word mule. Mule. Another word for like a donkey. Yeah. And if we know mule, then we could change that M and use what letter before it to make a new word? Uh, the Ule. What can uh, we put in for an R and make rule. the word rule? Okay, what else? Uh, is eel a word? Eel, well, you know what, eel is E-E-L, like eel, the, uh, the creature in the, in the ocean, that's E-E-L. We could, back to three, we could talk about an elm tree, E-L-M. Another word we think about in the spring is a Flower. lamb. L a m b. What? A lamb. Oh yeah. Um, well, in the we think about in like a lion, out like a lamb. So it's uh, talking about spring. How sometimes spring is really stormy and rainy, like a lion. The weather's fierce. And then at the end of the spring, of spring, then it calms down and it's beautiful and it's got the flowers. B U M, yeah, bum. Don't be a bum. Do your homework. What B? B U M. B A M. Bam. I could say, yeah, I slammed my book down and it went bam. Okay, I would, I would take bam. And if we have bam, then we could put ram. Right? Ram, yeah. Ram. Lamb. Ma'am. Oh, yeah, there isn't two M's. I'm just trying to think if there was any other um, silent E words that I thought of. Um, how about, how about male? Like, opposite of female is a male, which is yeah. a, a boy or a man. Um. Let's see. I was trying to think of other patterns I could use, like BR. Burr. Hey, you read my mind. I was thinking. Is it B R L E? B R L E? Burr. No. But, Is Bram a word? But one, one also we could include in there, like real, uh, or I'm sorry, like, uh, maybe we didn't have it. Is uh, Beam. Like there was a beam of light or a balance beam. Another one, if we change this, is a ream of paper. You know the big packages of paper they sell at the store that come in the big packages that you buy at like Target or Staples or 
home, um, Office Depot. Um, they're called reams of paper. Okay. Okay. So now we've got to figure out what our mystery word is. Can you help? Give us a clue. Um, yeah, give us a clue. Let's see. I will tell you that it starts with a vowel. Um, a vowel. Just a, a starts with I, a vowel. A, I think it starts with A. E. I think it starts with an A? A, E. It starts with an E. Okay, how about this? It starts with a vowel and it ends with a vowel. Oh! oh. It starts with a vowel and it ends with a vowel. I don't think it ends with an A, so I think it's going to start with an A. I think a. it starts with an A. I don't think it starts with an A because your voice sounds like it does. I'm just questioning you. No, I'm not going to give away the mystery yet. That would be way too much. Way, way too fast to give up the mystery. I think it's more fun. A to... goes like somewhere in the middle. Okay. Because there's the three vowels. Where? Oh, A, E, I, O, U. Right. So the ones we have out of A, E, I, O, U are A, the E, and the U, right? Yeah. So it starts with the U? Oh, umbrella. <laughs> you got it. Oh, seriously? Yeah, seriously. <laughs> That was really quick. That was kind of like a lucky guess. Uh, so if we change this around, I'm going to erase some of these words. That was, that was pretty amazing, and I promise I didn't tell her. Just kind of a, okay, so it is. If you start with a U, U, M, B, um, Burr, B, R, E, L, L, A. Umbrella is Umbrella. our mystery word. Umbrella. It begins with a vowel, ends with a vowel, and has two L's together, so we would umbrella. say umbrella. Well, we, we need these in the spring. What? Oh, yeah. Yes. Um, when Ava said it, you're like, Whoa, yeah, mind blown, <laughs> right? Okay. Like the Hope last you had fun. Time. We'll be back.